Investing in 2020 is an absolute war zone for newcomers to the market. And today I want to share with you what I myself as an investor am doing during these times. How's it going guys? Ryan here and today I'm doing a different style of video. I'm doing more of a vlog type of video and today I really want to just discuss with you what I'm doing during this sort of uncertain period of time, particularly in the stock market, but in the global economy overall and how you guys can sort of best prepare based on what is currently going on and best protect yourself and make good investments in the meantime. But as always guys, before we get started, please like my video if you enjoyed it and leave any comments, questions, queries down below. Let us know exactly what you're doing during these uncertain times to either prepare yourself or to currently invest in the market. And remember to subscribe if you haven't for more content. So something a lot of people are doing is telling you what you should do but they're not actually telling you what they themselves are doing when it comes to investing or trading or the stock market overall. I myself work a full-time job separate to my stock market trading and investing and that takes up the majority of my time. That is effectively when I could be trading the market. I'm actually instead working a full-time job and this quite limits me in my current capacity to do day trading and all those sorts of things. So what I'm effectively doing at the moment is purely investing. I'm not doing much day trading whatsoever. If I spot a good opportunity, I might take a punt of it during my lunch break or something like that. But other than that, I'm purely investing at the moment. And effectively what this is allowing me to do is pick up some really good low value as the stock price I mean, low value stocks which should be worth a significant amount more but they have dropped in value due to the fact that the coronavirus and the global economy has effectively caused this massive collapse of the stock market at this point in time. So what I'm doing is I'm researching, I'm picking those shares which I think will provide long-term value and are currently significantly undervalued at the moment. In fact, I'm currently adding to my positions in the shares that I was already invested in, but generally I'd advise not to uh, average down on your shares because at the end of the day, if you're averaging down, you're mainly effectively building up the potential to make a bigger loss if the stock kept dropping. But what I'm doing is due to the coronavirus causing all stocks to effectively drop, even the good valued stocks, I'm waiting for them to drop. I'm adding to my positions if I feel it is a good time to do so. And effectively what I'm doing is building up the amount of stocks I own in these stocks that I'd already identified as being high value targets before the market effectively collapsed. Now, as I'm adding to my positions overall, effectively what I'm doing is putting myself in a position where when the stock market does go back up and starts trending in a bullish direction, I've set myself up to not only A, I've got more shares, so I'm going to obviously make more money when the stocks go up, but I'm also averaging down my stock price. And as I said before, something you normally wouldn't do, but these are uncertain times. These are very unique circumstances. So it calls for some, I suppose, a bit more unorthodox methods. If I was day trading, for instance, I'd be sticking to the exact same rules that I have always said you should stick to. You'd be cutting your losses quickly. You'd be jumping out at like a 5% loss margin. You'd be jumping on those stocks which look like they're going to rocket due to news or due to technical indicators and all those sorts of things. 
But when it comes to long-term investing effectively, what you can do right now is identify really good stocks and pick them up for a really cheap price. Now, the issue here is how do you identify the really good stocks in the first place? And this can be hard to do just due to the fact that the business environment at the moment is not business as usual. And there's lots of measures being put in place, a lot of cutbacks occurring that are as a result of the coronavirus impacting companies both financially and from an operational perspective. So as a result, what do you do? Well, effectively, you still got to look for those key factors which make a company good. Go back to the financials of a company pre-coronavirus. Go back to their operational strategy. Look at their presentations. Look at what makes these companies good or potentially good in the future if you're looking at more exploration companies or new businesses in a market you want to be looking at their older content so that it isn't effectively skewed due to the coronavirus. Because if you're looking at results or financial statements or anything to do with the coronavirus itself, when you're looking at a stock, that time frame in particular, probably going from the end of January up until now, it's the middle of April, you're looking at skewed results. So you're not going to be able to easily identify those companies which are going to be growing in the future and ultimately the stock price increasing itself. Now, when you're looking at these companies, you may also realize that they might not actually recover from this situation and you wanna make sure you're avoiding those companies which don't have any sort of uh, ability to perform in an environment like this. One very interesting thing that I've found is that for exploration companies in particular, they've got the unique ability to be able to cease work and cease operations with no massive impact to the business overall. And for mining exploration companies, for instance, this is due to the fact that they're not producing, they're exploring still. They're drilling to determine if there's a large resource in the ground, what the grades are, that sort of thing. They can halt those operations. They don't have a massive workforce that they need to look after. So if they're in a good position financially from a cash on hand perspective, then they've got not too much to worry about. And often you also see with these small operations as well, they can actually continue to work during these sort of crises as they're relatively unaffected, un unaffected, sorry, unaffected due to the fact that they generally operate in the absolute middle of nowhere. They're not interacting with other people uh, and those sort of things. So as a result, these companies can continue to operate whether it be at a uh, lesser pace than what they were previously, they're still able to progress. And as a result, you're effectively being able to invest in companies which have a real ability to be flexible at this point in time, but have a massive ability to grow at a very low stock price at the moment. So identify those companies and you'll be able to potentially make multiple bags when it comes to uh, the bull run that will inevitably come in the future. Now, what I'd really like to hear is what are you guys actually doing right now? And what are you doing to make sure that A, your investments are safe currently and B, what are you doing to plan for the future? Are you day trading and taking advantage of all the opportunities and the volatility that currently exists in the market? Or are you trying to set yourself up for potentially making a massive profit from the gains that you're going to get based on the fact that stock prices have dropped for the, the coronavirus reason effectively and they're going to go back up in value in the future? Which way would you tend to sway, I suppose, when it comes to these sort of uncertain times? If you did enjoy this video, guys, please remember to like it. It helps me out so much. Subscribe for more content. And with that, guys, have an awesome day. See you next time.